There's a secret peasants' republic that's hidden in EU4 domination. As Aragon, if you make yourself unstable enough, you can become a peasant republic as you test out this new mission tree. This has been one of my all-time favorite playthroughs, so if you want to see a peasant Roman Republic, be sure to like the video and subscribe. I'm really curious to see what would happen if you formed Rome as this nation, so if there's enough of you interested, I'll continue this campaign. Now, let's go protect the little folk. Well, lads, welcome to the Aragonese. Today, uh, we're going to be checking out the new updates to Aragon as part of EU4 domination, as well as uh, a little bit of a little bit of a secret little thing. First, we're going to pick our rivals, and unfortunately, oh no. <laughs> okay, well, that's 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 fine. That's cool. England rivaled us. Um, okay, okay, that's good. Good start. It's a good start. We're, we're fine. Uh, okay, I guess we're rivaling the Ottomans. We're going to be rivaling. France wants to kill us. It means Castile's probably friendly. Yeah, okay, interesting. Now, usually you'd get the uh, Iberian wedding as Aragon when you try and you know, force it through. But we're gonna be, like I said, doing something just, just, just a little bit different. I don't know I'm teasing it. You've read, I've probably put it in bold on the title and also thumbnail. But in case I haven't, grab ourselves this as well, Economical Freedom, because we're gonna be inherently a trading nation. Well, I, I don't wanna keep saying like well in that high pitched voice of mine. Um, just because I, I don't want to listen to it anymore, so I can imagine what it's doing to you. We're getting restoration of the Union over Portugal. So we do want to be vassalizing the Navarrese. Now, importantly, we need to get ourselves a royal marriage. Great, excellent. That's wonderful. Got to hope for a smooth succession. We're going to go for permanent claims of Castile, just in case things don't pan out the way I want them to. France announced me as their new rival. The words of a friend of mine. All right, and then we want to break royal ties. It's going to drop us stability. Why would you intentionally lose stability? It's because of a little secret. I can't get this uh, this hidden option if I don't have a little bit of instability. Do you want to royal marry Austria? There we go. Syndicate. Don't know how to pronounce it in Spanish. So usually you only get these top two options. The nobility in Aragon has been again to strictly enforce the rules that tie the peasants to the land, and this combined with the stricter, stricter enforcement of seigneurial rights in general has led to unrest amongst the peasants. Poorest as peasants strongly support open rebellion, whilst the better off favor appealing for us for reforms and the end of the abuses. So we either let them form something which gives them uh, uh, actually quite a useful uh, burger privilege, we ignore the peasant rabble, or we go down with the nobles, which is going to give us a Catalan, a 564, and it also is a hero, a protector of the common folk. We still keep our union with Aragon. We are a grand republic, and we're going to be switching over to a peasant's republic. First, we need to deal with these rebels. That's a lot of them, man. All right, we're going to keep Naples. Running of Maine happens, and let's attack into here. Allying the Castilians and using them against the French, I think, is the play. Going to Castello. Where's Castello? Can't afford to fund the monastery. Go to Alicante. then. There we go. And thus, we have eliminated any uh, question about the legitimacy of the Aragonese or Catalan peasant. All right. So from here, we can form ourselves, you know, maybe a peasant Rome. Who knows? I know. <laughs> right, let's take back these islands. And now we can actually get to work during ourselves a reign. I, I think allying the Castilians is a shout. And we focus on the, on the Genoese trade node. Because we're going to need protection, man. Constantly, the sea requires us to have a lot of trade power. Here of exchange, we need a lot of money. So you can start to see the vibe of Aragon. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of role play here, considering it's uh, a peasant republic and those are always fun. We are going to be trying to improve the lives of our people as much as possible. Uh, so that is trying not to go into death wars, he says, with 900 manpower. Uh, that's generally just trying to keep things uh, as prosperous as possible. Now, we do need to start doing this. The War of Remonences, Ramon says, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. This will give us monthly autonomy change, and once we get uh, three stability, which would be quite, quite easy, or, or 10 admin month, which should be even easier, we get Republican tradition plus 0.5, as well as all estates influence minus 10%, and years of separatism minus 5, so we definitely... They definitely want that. I also need to get a naval force to at least 30, and then I get a bunch of claims. The issue here is that I physically can't complete this mission because we have to have a royal marriage with Castile, which I can't do because I'm peasant republic. So, might be a little bit of an oversight there. Uh, because as a peasant republic, that means I have to conquer it. Uh, which I suppose, actually, you know what? If I wreck on it such that it's not like a mistake, and it's in fact the fact that, Aragon, that Castile can never be historical friends with a peasant republic on its border. I think I prefer that. I just want to conquer a bit more. It's actually quite nice because uh, we have a hell of a lot of uh, crown land. Gives mad amounts of uh, reform growth. When is the elections? Every five years? Uh, every four years? So we're going to be losing on average six every cycle. A Republican tradition, that is, because we don't want that dropping too low. There's our choice of the Granada. And building up a decent sized navy. Also, going to take out some boat loans. Now, the reasoning for that is I need a naval doctrine. 
of galley combat ability because we need to hold the straight edge bolter because I can't beat Tunis and Morocco in a war. Okay, we need to ambush the Tunisians. Okay, here we go. Times well. There we go. Let's declare war. Tunisians are the main threat here. Pretty sure just wiped out my, my uh, trade fleet. I also managed to trap myself here. There we go. That should be naval dominance secured somewhat. I'm gonna go ahead and barrage this as well. Take an admin tech. Mil tech as well, please. Yeah, I want. There you go. Did you deposit troops on my shores? Why would you do that? You just got your men killed. Yeah, Castile is definitely prepping to go to war. It's been a super easy defensive war, this as well. Ah, oh, I regret a lot of decisions I've made. And it's only been six years. Okay, meritocratic rule. Or frequency of elections. Okay, let's go. Stop and start. Authoritarianism. Pretty standard. Minus one arrest. Not great. Can re from ruling family. Nah. Republicanism, Republicanism is very good because, you know, just building up that Republican tradition over time. Aristocratic rule, I mean, it's just goods produced plus 5%, really. National Manpower Modifier is pretty good, but I am roleplaying it, so. This is better, but this is more fun. I'm roleplaying it by re-electing the same guy over and over again, but that's fine. Well, that's nifty. I don't need to block it straight anymore. Also, I need to take out Navarra. Pay military access from the Portuguese. All right, and there's the Siege of Granada. I don't really want to be fighting the Moroccans at this point. All right, that should be the Moroccans. I think done. As well as the Tunisians, actually. Trying to nip in here, grab a bit more war score. Go low. White piece would suit us. I mean, if we can annul his alliance with Tunis, then we can just fight the Tunisians like this. I want to diplomatically isolate them. I'm concerned they ally the Ottomans, though. I wish they had already allied the Ottomans, and then I could have just bounced and, uh, and, and gotten rid of that. It's going to be a bad day for uh, Morocco, because they're about to get turned into the primary war participant, meaning that the uh, Iberians aren't going to take everything from them. Unless I wait, which is just funny. Oh, they took it anyway. Busy kicking buttons, and I've just taken. We want to peace out soon. And then Garnata. Sorry, Tunis. <laughs> Now we get this lot caught up. Uh, that should give us a bit more naval force. Look, might become a great power. I want to keep Castile sweet. I'm going to be dropping this autonomy whenever possible. Go uh, centralization effort. I've genuinely never clicked that before. We have loads more holy orders we can pick. Death modifier plus 25%. Combine that with the age bonus or age specific edict of uh, 50%. You get 75% tax. Jovanius Pontanus. He's a scholar. Sweet. Urania was his ambitious didactic composition in hexameters that embodied the what astronomical science of the age adorned with a high theme of mythological episodes. That's so cool. I mean, you know, but being a nerd is fine, chaps. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. All these areas. Increase that naval force to 29. Surely it should be 30. Aragonese Navy. As our realm is divided across the Mediterranean, we must make the construction of a fleet of a fleet our utmost priority. We cannot secure, I don't know why I can't speak today. If we cannot secure dominance on the water, our enemies will have free reign to plunder capture our territory. Very true. We get shipyard, base one production, and also permanent claims on Algiers. Well, okay with that. Get them elsewhere, are we? Yeah, Royal Marriage of Burgundy would have been lovely. I suppose we should ally them and protect them from the uh, French. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna co-belligerent Jared and Mazab, planning on vassalizing Jared and just eating the zab. A lot of truth in Morocco. All right, we get an idea group. I mean, I, plutocratic is looking kind of tasty. I mean, pff, trade. Okay, here are my thoughts. Plutocratic, they would be super useful in this region, but I think at this point, we probably can scale uh, bigger than anyone else. Maybe not the Ottomans, but we should be fine. Plutocratic for the role play. Give us some merchant as well, and that reform progress. Yeah, you know what? We're role playing, let's do it. First idea group. That's really cost minus 1%. 20% late. Why 1%? Uh, help out with this. I didn't even check out Aragonese ideas. We have the Gallery Combat Ability plus 20%, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, better than the Tunisian plus... Oh, no. The Tunisian is also 20 plus 20. My bad. I thought they're both. I thought this one was plus 15%. So, anyway. Uh, we get Sailors uh, modifier. New Enforcement modifier. Muscle Basins is okay. Trace Steering I like. Stability Cost modifier. Nah. Double trip power is good. Uh, the centralization side of things is also cool. And Royal Armies plus 10% uh, protect the little folk. Nice little bit of uh, Lord of the Rings reference there. Plus, we finish off with uh, artillery fire plus one, which is very, very good. Almost the right of re election. We force re election in times of doubt. Frequent elections, which are usually like because you can scale up quicker uh, to a 666 at the cost of your Republican tradition. But we're stacking Republican tradition anyway, so we should be okay. I'm surprised that Plutocratic Ideas doesn't give you that. Fortunately, the Neapolitan is almost done with Talem San. In a very successful war. I guess we're going to keep Eric. Being dangerously low now. East Frisia. An interesting one. I'm not knocking your choice of partner, but I'm, I am, I am, I am mocking your choice of partner. That was a bad choice. You made a, you made a bad decision. I feel bad about it. If you hadn't gathered, I'm waiting for the uh, Shadow Kingdom event to occur. So these lot leave the Holy Roman Empire and then I can attack into uh, the Genoese trade node. And we're going to try and secure Genoa for ourselves as a really, really strong trade node. Uh, is, the, is the idea. So in the meantime, I'm just taking out the North Africans because the aggressive expansion I accrue here won't uh, take place or be recognized in Europe. Okay, now we've got the 100%. 
do I even want Vassalize Jared? Because my idea is Vassalize Jared, give them all the Tunisian land. Yeah, because I'm going to be conquering most of Morocco myself. I just got to make sure I clear out of there first. I don't get trapped in. Naples is hunting for the army that's over here. Push prestige. Is this land worth... I mean, I think I'd rather have the money than... Um, Two provinces that are like behind eight development. Just squeeze the cash out of you. Oh, here's our 666. Hey, my troops did in fact get trapped there. Unfortunately, I can get the access to get out. Nice, that'd have been bad. Oh, nice. The inspiring leader. Good one to re elect then. Uh, although I should probably wait for it to scale up a little bit more before I do that. Hey, okay. Portugal announced me as their new rival and Shadow King fired. All right, we're going to go after Portugal. Uh, Portugal? Uh, Morocco. Again, similar strategy as the one I laid out previously. Should be able to get past Limson. One step with Okay. Some guys are 50% cheaper. Two guys are 50% cheaper. But two guys that are 50% cheaper. I've grabbed the Fort Defense guy. Limsons are going to be rising up soon. I think we're able to finish this war in time. I want to take this fort at least. If we're not baiting to try and take it back. Right, Truce of Tunis is up, but we burnt through pretty much every speck of manpower power I've ever seen in this nation. Uh, we're, we're currently playing uh, with uh, with uh, women and children on the front line. Uh, it's it's kind of nasty, but it's necessary. What two ninety percent uh, things here? We've got a siege is going on over here. I'd love to be able to take out. There's the siege of Girona. That's okay. Barcelona's there. That's our capital. That's not a time for disease outbreak. Siege of Dahra as well. And that's the truce. Well, peace, I suppose, is just an apt name. 99.2% overextension. But gaining a stability. Now, we have to fight a series of battles. How many men are up there? 9,000. 9,000, okay. Why is the free company dial expensive? We have to do it, right? Oh, nice. A lot of goods produced, and we found gold. I mean, I'll take it. Okay, intervene in uh, Vasilize Navarra. Oh, yeah, sure. Works for me. Not expecting that. Muscovy announced me as a new rival. Why does everyone hate me? I don't get it. I mean, this puts us in a much stronger position. Yo! All right, Naples. Straight up solving my problems. Sweet. All right, well, thanks for that. All right, Moroccan separatists, 15,000. Let's go deal with them now. They should rise up in Fez. Be the highest development province. 13. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. I'll be a mountain province. We'll go another mountain province. It's fine. Okay, there's a lot of rebels in my little uh, maritime empire right now. I'm not gonna lie, I really did not think that the Iberian wedding would fire, given that, you know, we're a peasant republic. I mean, I'll take it. As our truce to Portugal, and suddenly Portugal's mildly surrounded. And also the kingdom event has happened in Kingdom of Italy. Gives us a couple of options to start expanding that direction as well. I mean, whilst Castile's loyal, I think I'm gonna take hold of uh, Portugal. Can't see any downsides. Trade company needs to have the 50% once they're all cored and that'll give me another merchant. Yeah, sweet. All right, let's use the Castilians to take out the Portuguese. Works out nicely. Another inspiring leader. Okay. Last one died. I mean, I'll take it. Right, we have a lot of forts. And I think you know what that means. Time to delete. Damn it. Oh, this is not a good fort. Protected. In fact, most of these forts I can get rid of because if you think about it, I'm going to be protected by the Castilians. Now, the Iberians, there's nothing coming this way. So I can delete this fort because I'm obviously rebels later on, but because there's no border, if that makes sense. Like, this one's going to protect us from the east. That one's a good one. That one's a good one. Uh, Valencia is just kind of useful, I suppose but not necessary, so we're gonna delete it. You will hate it when I delete ports. It gives me such pleasure. Oh, this is nice. I'm kind of tempted to make this into a time lapse. Yeah. Look at it. Gaining territory whilst not having to... Oh, Why well, shouldn't mock the game? I'm sorry. You just keep landing more troops. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I won a nail battle. Uh, well, we're not doing anything with the free companies. Let's just chuck them on, get them sieging. Oh, God, just finish them off, man. The issue with Castile is he keeps on like attacking them and then running off to dest like destroy another army and then attacking them and running off to destroy another army. Like just yeah, there you go. Finish them off, man. Don't play with your food. Or a peasant republic with two uh, personal units. I'm gonna retcon that as uh, joint administrations. There's the Portuguese navy gone. I did just want to nick a heavy, so I'm glad that happened. Also, was aggressive expansion impact. Tempted to go ahead and get a golden era. Usually, I don't have any sort of like tactical way to decide if I'm gonna do a golden era. It's just if I feel like it's been pretty good, then I've earned it. Uh, let's go ahead and take out Tunis at the same time, whilst we're waiting for the English to tick down. Oh, they're on low. I didn't need to do that at all. Oh, because they're fighting the... Yeah, sure. There we go. And that's the Portuguese. Another... Kinds of power. Clerical privileges. What are clerical privileges? Or curtailing, I suppose. My navies didn't land troops because the Castilians got trapped on Jerba. Okay, I have to decide what I want to do here. Um, I did mess up and not co-belligerent Fazan, was the plan. The reason uh, for that is because I want to give the land of Fazan to Jared, but I also want to take out Tunis. If I take out Tunis and get another trade company, at the same time I want to give land to my vassal and then integrate him. So I think I'm going to give land, this land here to him, and then I'll just take the coastline. There's 50% of provincial, there you go, 51% of the province trade power. Just need these sort of, this coastline and Tunis itself, and that should be enough. The Ottomans will form a coalition, yeah, okay, so I'm not taking any Fazani land today. We'll burn off enough aggressive expansion. Before then, the Ottomans won't join the coalition. Because the Ottomans and Mamluks join a college together that I don't want. Did you do this? That was a lot of events all at once. Okay, thank you for the gift. Cheers. Eat that guy. Get the admin power. Awesome. Aww. I thought he'd accept. <laughs> and no 
Awesome, perfect. Now we're gonna use Maghreb. Give that all that to a trade company. Yes, another trade company right there. And we'll set a guide to collect in our home trade node. Or reform progress, don't mind if I do. Okay, I wanna save up some money to invest in our lands now. I wanna run around with a free company and get rid of all these rebels. Get rid of the Fort on Jarba. And I think forts in general have that. Uh, Tatuan, we need to have this fort up in Suta. But other than that, Christ, those guys are scrapping. What the hell just happened? All right, let's try again with a 3-4 this time. What's wrong with you? Frogs, we have to kill every single one of them. All right, let's just get the 10-to-1 stack wipe. What the hell was that about? Okay, we are literally at our governing capacity. So anything else we conquer, we need to give. This. Actually, what I could do is this. Party land rights, and we're good to go. A few more Portuguese. Okay, so mission trees wise, um, I have this mission here, which uh, I need 15% or more trade power in Luger and C, which I can probably get. 7% more in Valencia, which is a bit tricky, and the marketplaces, which is fine. That'll give us permanent claims on the region. We've got Constantinople here, so we need to integrate navels for that. And the crowns of Iberia, which will make me a empire and give me another flagship. That's an interesting thing. Okay, two flagships? Is that not like ridiculously overpowered? I mean, I'm down. For that, we just need this region to have zero. Um, decrease your autonomy. Uh, similar ethos as before. Don't need these forts because it's at my back. Valencia and Barcelona both need marketplaces. Let us get on that. All right, let's go trigger a bunch of rebels. Thermsani separatists are going to be in Thermson. I got my boys literally do have pitch forts. <laughs> Literal peasants. All right, that's the Moroccans. If I can get to tunes before they rise up, that'd be ideal. Perhaps now's not the time to bug out. Take them with this amount. Algerian separatists are in Dahra. Well, Denzian's up in Roussillon. Or oh, Rosello. I don't have to deal with the Spanish accent. All right, it's another merchant. Very Safi, right? I want to build a trade flagship because we're going to get two later anyway. The trade power in fleet. And then we'll get a bunch of box. Also, I made a little bit of a mistake that doubtless a lot of you will have noticed in that I trade company the gold mine. Uh, so now we have to wait for five years <laughs> whilst that ticks down. I don't know why I didn't consider he'd spawn elsewhere. Okay, so now we should be making a crazy embezzler. We should be making a lot of money. Okay, I want my gross expansion to tick down slightly, and then I'm going to try and go for this constant, the C mission. So I need 70% or more trade power in Valencia, 15% or trade power or more in Ligurian C. So 9% more here and about 5% here. Dude, I got so obsessed with this mission to the point where I've, I've massively built over our force limit uh, by 20 ships just to get it. I invested in a, uh, a world port in Barcelona. <laughs> I just wanted the Consulate of the Sea. Our new quasi-judicial board that would administer maritime and commercial law is called the Consulate of the Sea. It gives our merchants the right to settle their commercial disputes without interference from royal courts. In exchange, we, Crown of Aragon, of uh, Aragon, uh, receive financial support. So we can place trade posts and it gives us uh, trade power, trade efficiency, and that sort of stuff. But we do does get rid of our republicanism. All right, sweet. I make a bunch of money through that. Let's just go ahead and conquer them. How many ships do you have, Venice? A chunk of change. We make a lot of money per month. Uh, and I think it is time we go ahead and declare war. Gained? Okay, go and hide for a little bit. That's going to drop our... Yep, that's expensive. Uh, that's fine. Go, 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 go. He's chasing me. Get the Sasa. There we go. And we'll send our fleet to support the Castilian Navy. Oh, and the burgers gave us some money. This is why it's good to be kind to the peasants. Because sometimes the peasants give you money. And that's a lesson for life. People who like you are more likely to give you money. Oh, and then I have to immediately pay them to lower their prices. I think it was a scam. I think I just got scammed. Did you take exploration ideas? You did. Perfect. Did you? All right, you better spawn it, Castile. I have a cunning plan. This is not a naval battle that we can win, but I'm going to pretend we can. Hopefully the AI is scared. Oh my god, it actually worked. Yeah, for clarification, that is not a naval battle that, that we should... I sacrificed 4,000 men for this. 6,000, actually. So I've won the Siege of Venice, uh, but the Venetian army is a little bit stronger than I expected. Um, it occurred to me, why am I why am I not just piecing out Venice? I don't want anything from them not yet anyway yeah allied to no one's scary no so go ahead and do that then oh that's giving us enough money for the table of exchange and the guild of barcelona Dude, valencian silk until the end of the game we get silk produced and local goods uh, modify plus 25 percent if we pump it up to 20. go ahead and get that done with lucker with genoa do us nicely I've got way more money than i know what to do with um i don't have adam and tech six yet so i can't build production side of things. I should get level two advisors, really. I should actually build an army. <laughs> I'm currently rocking less than half my uh, lofted amount. I think I want to run with more mercenaries because that's kind of expensive in terms of manpower. All right, let's take you out. Go ahead and protect trade in Genoa. Well, Sevilla is not a bad shout. Uh, split in two, actually. Do lot do it in immediately before, didn't you? Yep. And you're kicking their asses. Oh my God. <laughs> what mission can I complete? Ah, excellent! Go ahead and grab War of the Remnances, which gives us monthly admin power plus one, which is we need 
Republican tradition at least 85. Ugh. Atlanta by the crown at least 60%. Okay, let's start walk towards, walk it, working towards that. Same time is taking out the Portuguese when necessary. Government reform and the military side of things. Tercios. Obviously, we have to do that, right? Or revive the Alma of the Guards. That's got to be the Tercios. Kingdom of Saguenay. There's 800 ducats. They found a wonder. Not your alliance with Morocco. And war operations, transfer trade, that sort of stuff. Portugal. Let's finish them off as well. Increase my devastation. Probably should have had an army ready there. All right, there go the Moroccans. I reckon we can land on England. Tempted to send my navy out to test it. Yeah, that's the Royal Navy. It's hiding. We've landed, so I mean, I might as well get the free company and just dedicate ourselves to it a little bit. Bloody money for it. Might as well start going here now. You want to deal with that? Deal? No. Please win the siege so I can go down and deal with the Moroccan rebels. I can finish off with graphic ideas. So separatists. So slate, like, not sad. Oh, Jesus, been on the internet too long. Give me less money, you'll give me cool. Uh, that seems quite useful. We'll release later on, at least. We'll release uh, as a vassal. I should have picked literally anyone else, I suppose. Pick the only one that has two cores instead of, you know, four or like more than that. That's fine. All right, let's finish up this war, I suppose. Yeah, I want all the Portuguese provinces. Thank you very much. Full annexation. Thank you. Cool stuff. We get union with Portugal. Thank you very much. And crowns of Iberia. The too many and crowns of Iberia. The many crowns of Iberia have been divided for centuries. Now at the time to consummate our efforts in this matter in order to create the empire. Become an empire and we get yearly flagships or number of flagships plus one. What do you have a significant amount of rebels to deal with? Okay, you're already locating to Suta, that's fine. Pop some men on Tunis. Let's release new diplomatic relations, that's fine. Jared was a bit of a failure of a state. Not even got any claims. And now Tunis is allied the Ottomans. So really that did not go well at all. Get some bloody claims, mate. The ally the Mamluks. Go over my limit now. I'm gonna have to annex Jared like as soon as possible. Getting lots of annoying little things like rebellions and noble uprisings and that sort of stuff. I want to take this because I get diplomatic annexation costs and we can finally get rid of Jared. Sounds like I'm saying Jared, realized in the English tongue. A bit upsetting for everyone named Jared, like Jared at home. Gonna get rid of you, mate. Sorry. Whilst we're here, we'll nip in, right? Currently, the only two obst obstacles that I'd have. Firstly, I didn't realize that East Frisia had actually inherited Burgundy. That's amazing. They just look like Burgundy. Um, yeah, the two sort of little obstacles are going to be the Ottomans and the French. The French I can handle with Austrian help pretty handily. I think the Ottomans, if I can get the Mamluks and also Poland, uh, we can sort of just nip in and destroy them. Because the Austrians would come in, the Mamluks, the shame we don't have an ability estate, because then I could have uh, prevented this. I'll, uh, you know, mass reputation thing. There's a 0.9% chance of that happening. Did to march in a little bit more. Then again, let's just pick and choose our battles. Do that instead, just take it. And ah, do you know it has to be at least 70 or level three? Spend a thousand ducats right now. Put my claim on Italy, and our guy becomes an entrepreneur. All provinces in Italy. Okay, a bit of a jump. Catania. Okay, so this is just conquer Ocatania, conquer Italy. Mario Nostrum, we need to do City the World's Desire, so we need to start going down this tree, so we need to start integrating. I'm actually perfectly, so we've been pretty much 50 years. 50% cheaper advisor, sounds good to me. Ah, we get Tarsios now. You know, we the manpower. Right, screw this. We have money, let's turn the money into manpower. And uh, might as well want to mark like 45 ducats a month. I've got just 12,000 men chilling in corn, didn't even realize. All right, let's start assembling ourselves an actual army. Um, because frankly, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, next idea group. Tempted to go trade. Influence is probably a better idea. Influence, because I want to spawn the Byzantines and that sort of stuff. I feel hats, that's nice. I feel like England's uh, made it. Oh, that's good timing. England's made it to the new world. Castile, have, have you? Uh, let's go ahead and go after re-expanding the Muslim region soon enough. Fucker, you might give me access. Thank you, good sir. Troops are pretty good as well. That's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, they ran away. Good. If I wanted to fight the French, the Austrians would get involved. They have a massive numerical advantage. But they've already got a land, right? No point rushing. Yeah, less than 100 year war. 15% morale. All oh, right, I want to build an actual army. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Be a separatist. That's over here, isn't it? Trade company, increase autonomy. Bang, that's how you deal with that. <laughs> Give the rebels exactly what they want and they'll leave you alone. How I've gotten through life. I shouldn't take all this stuff, right? That's not that bad. I'm definitely taking all of it. Trade company, boom. Awesome. Now trade efficiency, please. Prospering times. Look at this. Rural infrastructure, research methods. All right, tax Avisa. Where's Avisa? Bit of a nothing place. Till the end of the game. Okay, tax modifier, trade power, manpower. Go urban. That's really cool. I like that, Ben. 
turned into a metropolis. I think in 50 diamonds. Uh, I can't really size it now, can I? Managed to just murder some guys or Castilian. As well as I'm Spanish. Not to be too confused with uh, Spanish from the Discord, who isn't Spanish, but it's called Spanish. Skill three, two percent cheaper. Sounds good to me. It'll just peace out. Sweet. And that means we can get rid of you. Once announced this is their arrival. Announce the claim and call. Thank you for the money. <laughs> this is great. Oh, you know, this might this might be my favorite campaign in domination. This is just great. Well, government reform, because obviously we've been concentrating a lot on government reform, so we've been doing right. Parliamentarianism looks like it would probably be the best idea. Disabled school diet, though. This is summoning the diet, so it doesn't look like what I'm thinking of, which is disabled that button. Only general. Ooh, advise to increase yearly, yearly... Oh, I can't seize land. Screw that, then. Currency the diet. Calling the diet no longer increases elections influence the estate, and calling the diet increases the republican tradition by two. Or presidential system, and NAF, or parliament. I like parliamentarianism, especially the new way they've done it. I mean, hey, we're meant to be role-playing, aren't we? So parliamentarianism it is. Yeah, I can't summon the diet anymore. I want to reform progress growth, I like that. Heathens, national tax, scale three inquisitor. Annex subjects will be removed, and diplomatic reputation plus, ten, plus one. That'll be super useful. Uh, let's grant one seat real quick. Grant army commission, nice. Means now we can immediately start doing Neapolitans. Okay, mild coalition. That's fine. Not what you want to see. All right, let's gather up all of our troops and let's start trying to put together an army that has some sort of coherence to it instead of just a random selection of troops. As amusing as that is. Too many liberties. Got too many. Uh, don't I have some more troops somewhere? 12, 12, 14, and then I've got 18,000 over here. Okay, so I had to get rid of the free company. My force limit is 65. What's the combat width? Let's go for 30 stacks. Firstly, let's create as many tercios as we can get hands on. Yeah, I think 25s and 25 infantry, three cannons would work nicely. Let's go ahead and create that. But the combat is 24, then ideally I do need 30. So then they can act independently. Then three, uh, we'll make it four. All right, so the coalition consists of Italian nations, I think Tunis and France. That's still like fine. Considering I want to consolidate for a little bit and go after them. And call in the Austrians and the Mamluks. I really want to just stomp them and call in. Yeah, I'm going to put them in the dirt. This, this feels uh, problematic for them. Let me build a flagship that is our combat boy. And I think to remember, I'm going to call him a combat boy. Boy you, because I typed that out three times and messed it up each time. Grab a couple of heavies just to hold the line. The rest of this lot are going to be galleys. You're going to need a hundred um, naval limit here for Mediterranean ambitions. Yep, integrate Naples, have at least 20 galleys. Sweet. And that'll give me claims on the Ottomans as well as 10% aggressive expansion and 10% ship cannons. So we integrate the... Uh, Neapolitans thing here, do that in, which hopefully will line up uh, nicely with getting enough favors from uh, the poles to go straight in. Earth colonialism. Now, you ready, ready, Castile? Ready? Colombian exchange. I wish I could exchange you for England right now. I could just attack them and take the province. No, no, Lathe, Lathe, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. You want to integrate Naples. That's the play. Just chill, relax, build up your manpower. Eight years, you can manage eight years a piece, surely. You need land owned by the crown to be at least 60%, which the next time I revoke or seize land. So Savoyard separate to fighting. I'm gonna do the same thing for the Savoyard. Probably should have put a general on that, but it's fine. Just generally telling the boys to run forwards and get it done, and they do. Wait, ship trial, trade of power and fleet plus one, right? So I could combine these fleets. And they'd all have plus one. Why am I not doing that? This is a, a very good question that I have for myself. General is a very unfortunate name. Oh, it's Colom, not Colom. Eh, Colom's funny. <laughs> not more troops than I was expecting. But we have Tercios! <laughs> when does Papal Legate run out? 15, 12. Okay, we've got it for a while. So much manpower! <laughs> Build more! <laughs> Different religious plus one. Yes, please. Christ, that's actually so useful. I don't know why I never, like, prepare. I'm going to get there first, because he's going to get 10 years of separatism now. Why'd I do that? <laughs> What, what's wrong with me? <laughs> England embraced colonialism. Gonna get it anytime soon? Cause still starting to get it. Obviously we're ahead of time on the uh, all tech. Cause of course we are. When are you gonna be done now? Oh nine. Oh, Protestantism's a thing. You know, I could very easily attack the Ottomans now, um, but I don't want to. I wanna have Naples like secured first, just for progression's sake. But make no mistake, we are dominant uh in in and sort of unparalleled in our in our power at the moment mainly also because of our allies allied to austria poland and the mamluks sort of ridiculous like this is the this if you're the ottomans right now you are not happy in the meantime we're gonna keep on improving the lives of our citizens by securing ourselves the genoa trade node milan left really not the or anything ottomans declared war on hungary wait three years man just just hold on for like three years i'll be there no debate. Is there anything here to do with... Fortunately not. Now I'm going to do the Republican tradition. Deal embraces colonialism. Perfect. Can I have it? Should actually be done before... Just because I'm going to take this idea. Gives diplomatic annexation cost most 25%. We're going to do that. And we've annexed it. Goodbye, Naples. So, integrate Naples. 
Mediterranean ambitions. We move to take the Ottoman. Cancel the debate just in case we can get rid of the... Yeah, there we go. And it's already going to be removed. Perfect. All right, let me be very clear on what I want. That's right. All of it. I'm calling in for favors, not, not anything else. Uh, time for a dog pile. Ha! Ah, if I call in the um, Tunisians, I can uh, fight the coalition with, with my boys on side. I'm not going to do that, but that's that's entertaining. This is going to be a curb stop. I've got Crusade as well. Did not mean to attack the Ottomans in the mountains. Well, I would suppose we're defending the mountains. I mean, yes, that was a brilliant uh, maneuver from me. One of these days, I'm not going to luck out. Chase him all the way to Constantinople. I'll become a defender of the faith. Why not? The peasants of Aragon are taking on the Sultan. Oh, we'd love to see it. Lizians haven't surrendered yet. Seems like an interesting decision. Oh, it's no rules. That's nothing to do with me. Yeah, I don't even know where the Ottoman troops are, man. <laughs> oh, there they are. They're attacking the Mamluks. Probably a smart decision. Taking Constantinople. Oh, his encape is on our side. I don't think, hang on, have I, I've not even been using war taxes, man. <laughs> Egypt of Ankara. Go off the caravan next. Genuinely don't know where the Ottomans are. Okay, they're in Crimea. Oh, they took out, they took out Vienna. They won, they won the siege of Vienna, so they've done better our, than our timeline. Ease the tension. And I'm just going to keep barraging this stuff. The Yemen, Karaman, Gizikamuk. Uh, you know what, Mamluks? Yeah, go go to Yemen. Go, just go go stand in Yemen, bro. Attack against... Oh, okay, right. You're helping out, uh, Brandenburg. Sure. Oh, how are we against Brandenburg? All right, let's gather up our troops and split into three armies. Not going to be roughly... It's not going to be perfect, but this will be roughly even. One, two... Do the Ottomans even have any troops? I don't know where they are. Oh, still in Crimea. Go ahead and barrage this. How's everyone else been getting on? Uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing a me. <laughs> don't think they could... That, what? All right, Bahang. I seen you that big before. Armanus is doing well, but still doesn't manage to take out Vajanaga. Vajanaga's doing all right. Muscovy is having a hell of a game. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Much better troops than the Ottomans. We are, like, attacking them in the mountains. Why are we holding so well? I mean, I should have retreated a long time ago. I just... We started to like win mildly. We have lost like 13,000 troops. Definitely should have stayed there. Yeah, don't die to attrition, please, Leith. I, I can't believe I didn't see that notification. That would have been very bad. It's a very embarrassing. Let's caravan out as well. Could let everyone else do the work for me. Like I've sort of been doing this entire campaign. What's been going on over here? Didn't I have an army over here? No, oh, I brought them up north. Oh, okay. Right. I'm just. Ah, this is the army. That's why they've been massacred. Income from vassals. Yeah, that doesn't really help me considering, you know, the only vassal that pays me is Cornwall. All right, the Asia discovery ends next month, so let's go ahead and peace out. We'll do this. We're going to release Byzantium. We're also going to release Bulgaria. We've got holy war against the Ottomans. Shame the uh, businesses don't have a core on that anymore. I don't really want to core it myself. We've got ourselves an Anatolian charter, and there goes the next. We'll wait for this to tick over. There we go. Brace this. Do that. We can form the Spanish nation diplomatically if we have 100 legitimacy. I don't know if it counts this as legitimacy. Guess we'll find out. We can't do that. We have to integrate them manually. Okay, sure. And now I think we go for trade ideas. And we'll, we will core the stuff. Remove this from a trade company just because it's such a good province that... Nah, that's not, that's not in the spirit of things. That's not how I'd do it. France for trade over here. Go to Genoa. It's probably the next good stage for us. Restoration of the Union on Hungary, huh? I've got to seize the land all those um, years ago and then I didn't claim... I've got to seize the land all those years ago. Which means I didn't get 60%, which means I didn't do this, which would have been so great. That's, that's stupid. I think it's a testament to how strong Aragon is and the Peasants' Republic of Aragon. That despite my several misplays, we were still an incredibly wealthy nation. Uh, and just a bit of a beast, really. Called me in. Okay. And everyone's leaving the coalition. Always nice to see. We'll take 20 years to integrate the Castilians. I don't think, I, as much as I want trade ideas right now, I mean, I still haven't finished out influence ideas. So... Go ahead and grab some, like, quantity, because I'm having massive manpower issues. All right, more reform. So administrative divisions, I think, is going to be goated. We need we need that, <laughs> desperately. The yeah, Cornwall's just not having a good time. <laughs> Go ahead and declare war on the French, um, just because I feel like it, really. War tax have been stopped. Please, thank you, because I completely forgot about that. Oh, look at that. Oh, people revel in freedom. It's little things like that that make you really want to, like, care about your people. Now, let's oppress the French. The Austrians have to solo them, because it's taking me a while to get in. All the little French vassals have annoying. They've all got, like, capital for it. It's kind of insane that they don't uh, seem to integrate the vassals. <laughs> like, ever. I'm also just taking hits. I've just not been, like, just leaving me alone. Keep going forwards, I guess, guys. We're in Paris soon. Oh, no, we have to fight a battle. Oh, no, everyone's leaving. We're good. They've left us alone. Look at that. Diplomatic annexation cost minus 15%. Perfect. Tige of Chartres. Gone quite well. Where's my fighting? Switzerland, Brittany. Okay, let's go for the Swiss. Scotland as well. You can see the amount of times the Austrians have fought versus me. I don't think I've fought, like, yet. 
I think for maybe two or three fights, it's been good. It's been a good war. Very convenient for me. All right, I think we just take the southern coast. Do this as well, which means we get castle and nobility until the end of the game, which gives us yearly republican tradition as well as all estates minus 10% influence and years of separatism. Very useful for absolutism later on. We also grab accumulate Provence. Gives us even more claims. Got claims upon claims upon claims. Oh, the Commonwealth form. Nice. But I think that is where we we're going to leave it for today. I was going to hold on until we did in, uh, in Castile, but I'm kind of, I kind of want to continue this campaign. I'm thinking we may go for Rome. I'd be tempted. I really would be. Um, yeah, there's a big old Muscovy there, but we're allied to the Mamluks, so they're pretty uh, stable. Probably will get rid of that soon. Uh, in, I think, nine years' time, is it? Seven years' time, we, get, we go after the Ottomans and we'll get, uh, give back all of the Byzantine and Bulgarian wars. Uh, the French have been basically nullified. I think immediately now I'm going to go for the English and take out uh, the New World has obviously been discovered. Hopefully Castile's been doing something over there, but it doesn't seem like they have been. So yeah, that will complete these two things here. I can't believe I didn't realize. I remember reading it and I remember being outraged about it, but we can raid coasts for 20 years uh, if we take this province. Uh, and we should have been doing that and we didn't. But that's fine. Either way, I think what we'll do is take out Tunis, take out the Ottomans, take out England immediately after this and just keep on using our money to fund mercenaries. Uh, keep relations high with the Austrians, the Commonwealth and the Mamluks because they're still uh, coalitions. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, we're just going to steamroll into the Roman Empire. Peasant Roman Republic, chaps. If that's something that interests you, then please make sure to like and subscribe. It's how I gauge interest on these sorts of things. And hopefully we will see Aragon return in another installment. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeAl52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. Your support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.